Hello, good morning VU. It's Sunday morning, I'm slightly hungover, so I thought, hey, what's the best time to take on Little Puffer's Chop Raspberry Chili Challenge? Yep, no. No, I well, shall be using the MVP. Have that set for about, got it set for four volts. Now, little Wayne, little Papa Wayne went and sent this to me because he wants to do a full fame on his market stall. Basically, have this as a some sort of bit of a draw to get people in as they watch people die on his stall. Might not particularly be the best way of advertising and a load of people dying and swearing by your market stall, but anyway. So here's what little Wayne sent me. I'm going to be putting, going to be dripping into the octopus. It's got about a two on cord on it. There you go. Well, that should do, because there's a funny story behind trying to get this to video at the moment. This is now number three. This is take three. First time, live movie maker. Decided to only do seven seconds of the whole task. Take two. My laptop decided to go and turn itself off after I'd hit about 11. So here we go again. Third time lucky. The, the rasp of Satan from Little Puffer. Enjoy. Because... I'm starting not to anymore. I really aren't. <laughs> now, since my last take on this, I have given my throat a little bit of a chance to recover. And the initial one isn't too bad. It starts off as alright. It starts off like a slightly peppery but extreme menthol hit to the back of the throat. And that's quite nice. That is quite nice. And you can get and the raspberry does seem to help this fact. Chocolate not really getting a great deal of chocolate to be fair. But it does feel quite nice. It's quite refreshing. After you get over the initial oh shit. That's quite nice. Number two. The thing with this juice is, I mean, with other ones, mainly the Heaven and Hell, the superb juice from Pete and Jeff, that all went upwards for me. That really did. I, I instantly went red. My pupils looked like piss holes in the snow. But I didn't get any here. This seems to be kind of going the other way. I'm getting a little bit of tingling in my cheeks. Right here for the throat, it, it, it feels like a very cold burn. And round about my septum area is, it, it knows it's there. It, it, it's not unbearable, but it's not nice. <laughs> Number three. It does sting the nose out. If you do a nose exhale, it does sting the top of the nose as it's coming out. <coughs> Bro, it is getting a little bit sore now. And, yep, the face is definitely going a bit red. Still not unbearable. But it is letting its attentions know now. It is starting to build up a little bit and magnify. Um, 
Okay, I know a lot of candidates are really bad in high blood pressure now. Ugh. I'm kind of fighting back the cough, and you kind of get that. You know, generally the face you pull when you're just about to throw up, but it, it's just keeping the cough in. It is starting to get very tickly at the back of the throat. It is being, it's definitely irritated. It's not happy. <clears throat> to be fair to it, Raspberry is your friend. It kind of takes a little bit of that fucking face out of your mouth. That you do get when you're made with a jelly. It's exceptionally warm at the back of my throat now. And, and my heart rate is elevated due to what is being pumped through my system at this very moment. It's starting to get a little bit of a sicky taste at the back of my throat. <laughs> I think my sick trigger's been Pulled a little bit. Number six. Okay. <laughs> Nose it's how is a stinger. Not water in the eyes yet. Well, I think I'll change that in a second. But it is definitely an accumulative effect on the throat. But the thing being is, instead, when if you like that with the chili one, the the chili chili ones, you just get that come up again, and it all reactivates. This one, you kind of, and all you get in your mouth is raspberry with a very peppery aftertaste. Which isn't as bad. Doesn't mean it's good, but it's not as bad. Oh, the bonus. Oh. One thing I would like to say, I'm not cheating. Now, there's been quite a few chili challenges started up. I don't know where they've started from. <clears throat> but we have noticed that a lot of people, while doing their chili challenge, are using milk. Now, milk, as we all know, Lines your throat. Kind of puts a protective barrier around there. So for today's challenge, I'm using ale. <laughs> Believe me, it's no help whatsoever. It dehydrates you even more. And it gives, them more, uh, gives them a little bit more substance to actually come up if this all goes wrong. Which there's a high chance of it doing. Right. I've lost count. I hope someone else has count. But what would happen if you snorted it? Yeah, that's how it looks. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, you ever wonder what your face looks like after a stroke? Hey, you guys. That was stupid. Oh. Oh. Ow. Don't do that. It hurts. <laughs> it feels like I've just snorted silver bang. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. A quick tip. If you have got bumped up nose or sinuses that are a little bit swollen, 
do that. Don't worry about olive oil. Don't worry about bread. Just get some chilli. In your cartomizer. In your rebuildable. And shove your drip tip up your nose. Because believe me, I can breathe now. Oh, that's just cleared a gateway to my brain. Oh. Uh, number utmost. <laughs> oh my god, I look like I've been holidaying on the sun. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about this, guys. Ah. So, to summarise, this starts off very pleasant, but it's a sneaky little bastard. It starts off all friendly, alright, the initial throat hit is a bit of a surprise, but then you take a couple more and you kind of get used to it. But then it builds, and it builds, and it builds. And it it's not it's not so much the initial burn. It it lingers. And then of course you take another one, which then reinforces it. And then while well, that one's lingering and so and, and so on and so on for every puff you take. It's not the worst one I've had. But if well, what little puffer said to me is true that they've been doing this on a Tesla at eleven watts you're not going to get any flavour whatsoever. That's just going to that's just an annihilation. Knock the watts down. Let them think they're being a smart arse and can take it. Because as the hits go on, it does get steadily, steadily worse. And maybe say every fifth one they do, it's got to be a nose exhale. If they get to ten. It's got to be a nose inhale, and believe me, after that point, they won't be doing much more. Because it does generally hurt. I'm going to have to do the other nostril, because I'm, I'm running out of one, and I'm bunged on the other now. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. That's just about right. Oh, solid. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Stop that. So, on that note, as I leave you looking at me in a snotty, crying, croaky kind of mess. Thank you, Wayne, for this chopped raspberry chili juice. If you are in Wigan and you see and you find little puffer store, go up, have a go, and maybe get yourself on the hall of fame. So on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, I'll catch you on the other side, people. Bye.